Now these are the ingredients that you need. Uh, the, the six eggs there and there's some red pepper, coriander, onions and that's uh, tomato and green chilies and it's uh, six eggs don't forget this is for six eggs. And there's black pepper and I'm going to put a little bit of cheese in there as well. I know you like a bit of cheese and chili powder and salt. Yeah, okay. And uh, that's the oil. Uh, oil. There's a little bit of oil, probably just over a teaspoon, maybe maybe one and a half teaspoons of oil. And I'm going to throw in the onions and the peppers. That goes in. And additionally, I am going to put in the tomatoes and chilies as well. That's that and it's hard to film and cook at the same time. That's why it's not focusing. Turn the heat up. Now I've accidentally put the uh, coriander in. So I'm going to take some of the coriander out, put it back on the plate, and that's okay. Now the water will come out of the uh, mixture, onions and everything. Okay, I'm going to pause it to let it develop a bit. A bit of black pepper. Now the red chili powder it goes lumpy. If you put it in the eggs, it'll go lumpy when you mix it. So what I do is I will put the chili powder, maybe less than a teaspoon, less than a teaspoon. You just want a little bit of taste to it. That's it. Less than a teaspoon into the uh, frying pan. That way it won't go lumpy, you see. And then mix that all up. Uh, I've just added a little bit of salt to the mixture. And all you do is just beat the eggs. And that should be the mixture that goes in. It'll be very boring watching this. I think you have to be there to see it. It's a lot more interesting. And we'll just see how the uh, the mixture in the frying pan is going after we've mixed this. Okay, let's have a look. Yeah, there's a bit of water starting to come out of there now. You can see it's slightly tinted because of the red chilli powder. Now you can cut these uh, vegetables any way you like. You know, you can chop them up finely. I sometimes prefer it this way, big pieces, and sometimes prefer it very fine. And you might think I'm making a big deal about this omelette. Well, I like to make big deals of uh, small things. I've already explained to you why and also why you shouldn't park your car uh, at an angle. I, I won't go into it now but just try to park your car straight. Thanks. Now we're just going to pour the mixture in. I don't know if you can see uh, into all the vegetables. And that is it. And what I'm now going to do, because I know you like uh, a bit of cheese, maybe about that much. It's not a lot, but it will just give it an extra dimension. Not too much cheese, otherwise it doesn't uh, bind together properly. Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more there. Yeah. And that's that and then finally we're gonna put in the coriander yeah. now that might be burning uh, underneath so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start folding it and uh, uh, maybe scrambling it if it doesn't manage to stay in one piece
Let's have a look. There you go. I think your mum would like this. Uh, well, I know she does like it, but I'll make it into a uh, scrambled. I'll come back to it in a second. Uh, can you see it's just cooking out? I don't know how long this video is going to be, mm, probably about five minutes. I'm just going to, the heat's on full at the moment, but it's almost done. There. Now, I hope that cheese is well inside in the middle. And there's the finished article. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Let me put the lights on there. And there you go. That's cooked. There's no heat on underneath now. Cook the cheese and everything. And I will take some out for you. Maybe this big piece. That goes in there for you. I'll give you a few smaller pieces, how's that? There you go, and that's ready for you to eat.